<clears throat> All right, good morning, world. Uh, happy New Year's Day. On this first day of January 2016, I've decided to get out and start my morning with a nice walk. Me and the homie Diesel. We get a nice walk here. Uh, just want to say to everybody, you know, good luck to you on the new year. Hoping that everything you set forth for yourself transpires. You know, you know, as I do, I like to ch share a little information that works with me that I've been using in my in my life. And uh, well, for starters, let me just say this: put God first. Be a strong faith. I pray every day. I get some word in me every day because it helps me in my process, my growth process. Uh, part of my prayer that I say to God every day is I am a warrior in the army of the Lord. Let my armor be a sign of my faith and show the strikes of my battles. Uh, take that and use it, you know. We go through life, and if you're a faith-based person, you're going to come under attack spiritually, mentally, emotionally, because... The devil, demons, they're going to come after the people. They're not going to come after the people that, you know, don't give a shit, pretty much. You know, they're like, well, shit, I, I got nothing to, to gain from coming after you. The, the demonic spirit, the devil's going to come after those of high faith who seek God. And he's going to try to break you. He won't break me. That being said, I know we're going to the new year. Everybody has their resolutions. I'm not big on resolutions. I feel like if you go set a resolution, set something small, just so you know you challenge yourself, but don't set yourself up for failure. You know, for instance, for me, I usually don't do them. But this year, my one resolution is nutrition. That's it. I'm not dieting. I already eat pretty clean, but nutrition. I'm trying to stay a little more obligated to eating and living a little more nutritiously to help uh, complement the workouts and all that. Boom, aside from that, on a more, on a different lifestyle note, I can honestly say, and I'm gonna honestly say it because most people won't open up and are afraid to admit their weaknesses. And I can say over the years, I've set some emotional, physical, mental limitations for myself. A lot of us do it, but everybody don't admit it. You know, everybody wants to appear strong and flawless and all that. Human beings, man. Everybody got some flaws, doubts, weaknesses. And if you're trying to put up a front that you don't, you're only lying to yourself. Because everybody, the man next to you, the woman next to you, and everybody across from you is all dealing with something. These are trying to do his business. It's a beautiful morning out here, by the way. Sun's coming up. I wanted to catch the sunrise on this first day of the year. But my point is... As far as I'm concerned, with those limitations, it's my goal, my mission, to shatter those limitations for myself. Uh, living is in the mind, man. The mind is the one thing that we know is there, we're consciously aware of, but you cannot see. You can cut open your head and see the brain, heart and all that. You can cut it open and physically see this stuff. But as far as the mind, there is no physical identifier for the mind but it's the most crucial part in living come on come on it's the most crucial part in living is your mind or as we would say get your mind right your mind's not right your life's not gonna be right and your mind is really gonna strive based on what you let in uh what you hold on to you know for years, man, I bet I was a defensive person, thinking, you know, under scrutiny. Anytime somebody said something, I go get straight to defense mode. I can admit it. I can admit my flaws. You know what I'm saying? I'm mad enough to do that. But in this case, uh, my mind is weaker. You know, as I've gotten older, as we all, as we're all supposed to do, is we're supposed to get stronger as we get older, wiser. And my mind has been strengthened based on the battles that I've been through, you know, let my faith, you know, my armor be the size 
show the signs of my battles and my faith. Uh, but my mind, man, I let my mind absorb more than it needed to, you know what I'm saying? So point being, in the 2016, the goal, the mission is to set the mind on a new path. Like, I'm already there. Like, I started in the 2014, 2015. Being a you know, family man, everybody won't get a family and do the family thing. That ain't for everybody. It's not the fix off for everybody's situation. For mine, it was, you know, bachelor, biker, bartender, la 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 la, in the streets, ripping, running, dating, da da. Yeah, just, you know, it was reckless control. If y'all seen the tat, it was reckless. I kept it under control, but my lifestyle, riding, my riding style was reckless. You know what I'm saying? I really, you know, my, my money management was reckless. Just shit was reckless. And then God stepped in and was like, you know what? I know it's going to take to settle you out. You need to slow down. Boom. Bless me with a beautiful woman. Boom. Bless me with a beautiful baby girl. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Brought me closer to my, my oldest daughter. You know, boom. Relationships. Communication. I start tearing down walls. You know what I'm saying? I start taking steps to start understanding the way I think. And everything that I've done, the, 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 the poor habits, mental habits that I've created over the past many years. So over the past two or so years, I've been recreating the way I think. So going into 2016, the goal is really to just simplify my thought process. I can overcomplicate. People, we, we're designed to think. This is how we survive. But sometimes we overcomplicate shit. We just we over process things and then we overwhelm ourselves. And next thing you know, you're standing ways deep in thoughts, most of which you don't need. You got ankle height shit you need to deal with, but you you sitting in waist deep thoughts, just perplexing yourself. The mission for 2016, man, is just to change that thought process, focus on what's important, you know, continue where I left off in 2015 on a high note. You know, my family, boom, work. Boom, you got to do that. You know what I'm saying? Everything I do, I do for my family. For my fiance, Liana Rose. Boom, what's up, baby? You know, my baby girl, uh, Elena. Honesty, Cortez. Bless me, Lord, bless me with a son. You know, a young, older older son, 17. Boom. But that's still my son. At the end of the day, it's the role I signed up for. But God know I needed that in my life. So I just want to share this with y'all real quick. This view. Beautiful. Beautiful view. On my stroll with Diesel. He gonna get Diesel in the shape too. That's his resolution to get better shape. You know what I'm saying? But the point of this, the moral of what I'm saying is, is that in this year, for me, is to continue to set goals for myself, tear down the walls and the limitations I set for myself. Y'all hear me talk about max potential all the time, max potential initiative. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. I refuse to be average, my version of average. I'm not calling people, I'm not saying average and saying, oh, you ain't shit, you're minimal, you're average. No, your version of average is the version of you that does the same thing that you've been doing and refusing to get outside the box. You see what I'm saying? Once you get outside that box, you're now striving for mass potential. You're striving for bigger and better. So, I'm going to try to keep this a little short. I already went in for a minute, but who cares? It's my shit. Uh, but I'm hoping it helps somebody is the point. <clears throat> Tear down the barriers you set for yourself. Stay in God. Stay in the word. Stay faithful. Do right by others. You know what I'm saying? Stay respectful to others. Respect yourself. Know yourself. You know? Find your goals and stick to it. Get on a routine and stick to it. One thing I couldn't stand, everything I couldn't stand has made me better. Routines made me better. Relationships made me better. The commitments made me better. My faith has made me better. So I'm hoping that for y'all, you know, 2016, you find whatever it is that you feel like you want to pursue and go after it. Get outside of your version of average and reach for your max potential, whatever you think it is. Once again, Happy New Year's to everybody. I wish everybody mad love and respect. And I hope that uh, this New Year is plentiful for you. You just see another dog. Enjoy this view one more time. And happy New Year's, man. One.